skal jeg fortælle jer om Kasper. Kasper var en temmelig... Hello everyone and welcome to another draw along video. Today we will be drawing an animal that's probably most famous of being very laid back. We will draw a sloth. I'll use a simple pencil an eraser and a couple of color pencils here, green and blue. And you can also choose to use other colors that you might fancy. Let's draw. We will start around the middle left side and do a very thin line this way. This is the branch the sloth will be hanging from. Just use very light pressure as we will redraw this later on. Now down here we make a circle for the head, nice and simple. And here I'm also using a very thin line so that we can always alter the head a little bit later on. Now for the first arm. Goes around the branch here. And then all the way down here for the elbow. And then it curves this way to the shoulder. Now a slot has these fantastic long and strong arms, uh, perfectly designed for hanging and climbing for hours. That was the other side of the arm. Then we will just continue on the back here. We have a curve that goes this way, up here, and then another curve. And then we will draw the left leg. continues up and around here, kind of grasping the branch. Continue down here, and the bottom of the stomach will be a small curve. And the right leg. And here we can't really see most part of the foot, because the foot is beyond the branch. Just continue up here, the stomach. So for the claws, it's very important that you um, you know that the claws goes around the branch. So do these curves that we can't see because of the branch, like so. And the same thing for the right leg here. It has these claws going around. that and this sloth here has three claws I know that some sloths have only two claws but this is a three clawed sloth now the other arm here is hidden behind the first arm so it starts here and goes up and up And then it grafts around the branch here with its magnificent claws. And we can just finish the line down here so that we have a complete sloth here. And we can now erase our sketch lines from the branch here so that we have the feeling that the arms and legs of the sloth are around um, the branch here. So just erase those sketching lines. And we can then draw up the lines of the branch here.
let's make the details on the head just around a third down you make a little line and this is a line that shows us kind of where to place the eyes so the eyes go like this almost like an almond on the other side as well an almond and then a pupil just make sure that this pupil touches both the upper edge and the under edge of the eye so it looks nice and relaxed a few points here to indicate the black area around the eyes and we draw around our almond shaped eyes and you can color those in And this black fur actually continues to the sides of the head down like this. Very characteristic. Then we have the nose here. We will start with just making two small marks for the nostrils. Like this and then you make a line around this and this way down here almost like a triangle the mouth so first a curve like this and of course now it looks sad so let's make it happy by pulling up a curve here and another curve here like so much better and then just using not very much pressure I just scumble my way a bit here over the nose and over the area between the nose and the mouth also beneath the mouth itself so we have this um, mouth and nose area nice and framed and also a bit on top of the nose You can make the nose a bit blacker here. And then for a fun part, the hair. So we add some hair beneath the face here. And then at the top, it sort of sprinkles around the head almost like a fountain and then it follows nice around the head almost to the back and I like to just add a bit more hair here to the back because I think it's so fun with this animal that has this nice mullet going on good a couple of eyebrows here which is basically just curves and there we actually have a face so the next thing that we need is texture I use my pencil like this to add some strokes along the body of the sloth here that kind of indicates this furry texture you can really experiment here how you like to draw this I like to use these um, diagonal J-shaped lines and just making sure that these lines touch each other they can go in kind of any sort of direction because a the fur of a sloth is really a messy thing, so um, you can really go, go crazy here. Down 
here, also some fur. Just trying to echo the curve here of the back. Along the back, a bit on the stomach here, and a bit in the opposite direction maybe, it's up to you. You can also do some longer strokes and you can even make some circles if you want to. It doesn't matter that some of these lines go a bit outside of the silhouette line because then it's just fur hanging from the body itself. And as I've said, it's, it's, it has this very um, messy fur, so it's completely okay that, that you have these lines. Bit more tone here on the hair. And beneath the face here. You can choose to add a bit of extra tone at certain places. I like to add a bit here on the bottom of the of the front arm here and maybe a bit on the back arm here. Just to play a bit around with the sense of three dimensions here. Maybe also a bit down here. And some on the back. Maybe it even has a bit of fur coming down here on the back. I think it has. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, time for a bit of color. I've noticed when studying this animal that it has some greenish hues on the fur, which is possible because it, it lives in these areas maybe where it maybe takes a swim in these lakes that have, have this, um, yeah, that are sort of green in it. And then, of course, the fur also becomes green. And... I, um, I start out by coloring in the branch here with a light green on the top and then a bit of darker green on the bottom. And then to illustrate the environment of the sloth here that I'm talking about and also to get a sense of harmony in it, I will use the same colors on the fur of the sloth. I don't really have a system here. I just place in a bit of green color here and there on the arm, on the hair, at the face, on the back. Just place these however you want it. Maybe you have a feeling of, maybe you can almost try to picture and imagine if this sloth was out for a swim, like where would it be green then? Where would this green thing be stuck in the fur? And then just for spicing things up and playing around with things, having fun, I use a blue pencil here, a blue color pencil to play around with the colors. And you can use red also, or maybe yellow would look nice or brown. I just thought that light blue would, would be kind of uh, uh, beautiful to look at here. Just a bit here and there. And finally, you can choose to go a bit over your pencil drawing here, adding some shade maybe, or doing some final touches on the silhouette line. It's totally up to you. I 
I think I will leave it be finished now. I hope you all had fun with drawing this animal and thank you so much for watching along. I hope you have a lazy and laid back day. Till next time, have fun drawing. Yeah.